God is making a way. See, that's the Romans 8, 30, 28 passage. God is always working for good to those who love God and are called according to His purpose. But I don't see it. That's where faith comes in. Amen? That's what faith is. What's God, what are you doing, God? I'm making a way. I don't see it. I know. I'm really busy right now. What are you doing? I'm making a way for justice. See, part of our problem is that I'm so focused on me. I am not the center of the universe. I want to be. I don't feel it when you hurt, Matt. Not the way I feel it when I hurt. Amen? He stubs his toe. I go, oh. But you know what? I chopped the end of my toe off with a lawnmower one day. And when I stub my toe, it hurts. And because I have that feeling, when he stubs his toe, I actually do feel. But not the same way. Because I care about me. And part of our problem is we look and we go, I don't see you doing what I want, God. Think about the children of Israel. We're going to be on this for a while, by the way. But God is making a way. I meant to take a look and figure out how long it would take to walk with, you know, half a million people from Egypt to the Jordan. Well, I didn't do the study. I forgot I was going to do that. That's why you write down what you're fasting, because, you know, when you get busy, you forget what you're doing and you eat the ice cream. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't take 40 years. <laughs> Amen? You could get there a heck of a lot faster. Why didn't they get there any faster? I can't see what you're doing, God, and they fight him tooth and nail all the way. <laughs> The fastest way for you to get to what God has for you is faith. Oh, no. I don't like that. I want to do something. Well, guess what? Every time you step out of faith and do something on your own, what do you do? You get in God's way. It slows down what he's doing. See, God's doing something in the world, and it's not just about you. We've taken Christianity and gone, oh, I'm going to follow Jesus as long as you make me happy. God's doing something in the world that's much bigger than you, and you're a part of what God's doing, but it's not all about you. Am I important? Yes. You know, I have, we have a deal in our, our bathroom. It's a little uh, glass jar. It's about this tall with no lid on it. A vase, that's what you call them. Glass jars with no lids. <laughs> and it's full of shells, and I love it, because we have shells in there from all over the world. And and it's going to hurt me because one day I'm going to die and my kids are going, look at these old shells and throw them away. I know where their shells are from. I know what God said. I know where they came from. I know where I have them. And they're little treasures to me. And I looked up uh, this morning and there was right on the side, there was one that's a little coral heart. And I thought, God said, and God may be saying this to you, of all the shells, on the beach. How many shells are there on the beach? I mean, every time you go to the beach, you pick up shells, and what happens? There's always more, amen? Of all the shells, I see you. He cares for all the shells, but he sees you, but it's not about you. Does that make sense? So we want to lean into what God's doing, not what God's doing for me. There's a big difference, isn't there? And when I lean into what God's doing, I Lean in to God's best for me. How many of you like that? It's faith. And so Jesus proposes this question. When I come, will I find faith like this widow's? When you're not getting justice, when you're not seeing what you think you ought to be seeing, will I still come back and find you like this widow Saying, God, give me justice. I believe you will. Because, see, that's faith. I'm coming to God saying, God, I know justice comes from you. You give it to me. And we go off often looking somewhere else for it. Will I still find faith? If you're still asking, you're still faithing. Does that make sense? So, the point of this parable is this. 
that God is eager to answer your prayers. God is eager to bring you justice. So let me ask this. Why should I keep praying when there seems to be no answer? Why should I keep praying? Have you ever thought that? I asked that. I have a biblical text. Paul said I asked three times, and God said my grace is sufficient. What, did God answer that prayer? Yeah. He said what I'm giving you is everything you need. And Paul said, got it. I'm going to live into what you've given to me. Did he get what he wanted? No. <laughs> There's a difference. Do you get it? So why do I keep praying? And you have an outline, and this is going to come up probably with one of your first answers. Is four reasons. Persistent prayer helps me focus on God. Persistent prayer. Coming back. Persistent prayer. Helped me focus on God. When I pray, it's not to remind God of my needs. And see, that's the problem. We go, oh God, you must have forgotten about me. Remember what I wanted for Christmas? (laughs) You must have forgot. Let me remind you. When I pray, it's not to remind God of my needs. It's to remind me where the source of my needs will be met. Do you get that? Philippians 4, 19. My God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. That's a promise. Why can Paul say this? Because he knows God. He knows his heart. God, please take this away. Uh, uh, My grace is sufficient. Really? Really? Okay, then in what you've given me, I have everything I need. And you know what? I know my Heavenly Father's heart, and He's going to give you everything He needs. That should be the word of encouragement you have for each one of you. Not a cliche, God's going to meet your needs, because we often use that as a means of, I'm not going to do anything for you. (laughs) Okay? Oh, good luck, be warmed and filled. Okay? But there's a genuine promise that comes out of relationship with God. See, if I know God, I've spent time with God, I've persisted with God, I've heard what God has said, then I can say truthfully, I know that my God's going to meet your needs too because I have that kind of relationship with Him. 